What's going on, guys? What's going on? With me, as always, the number one co-host, dear. Co-host, Dave. So, uh, welcome to our fourth battle report from the Swedish Championship. Man, 64 players so far. Yeah, I took a little hit first game. But since then, we've been bust kicking doors and taking names. Yes. Steadily climbed. Submarine. Man, I love submarine, man. You're not submarine anymore, though. Yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm You're climbing out of the water to the skies. Yeah, so I'm above average at the moment, hoping to stay above average. So you know what, Dave? Please, <coughs> do tell. You know I'm going to play safe now. Because I can see my goal. <laughs> <laughs> you want to take it? Yeah, it feels good, man. Not losing every game. Shit. Uh, oh, we should have made it this a little bit bigger. Yeah. Uh, okay, so who are we gonna face? Who could this be? Did I play the music though? Yeah, it's played. Who is it, Dave? Tell us. Dwarves? Huh? Infernal Dwarves. No. This was one a ho was a hard one for me to find a track for. But you can do it, man. We believe in you. Demons. Demons, man. Yeah, this is some demon shit. Isn't? Yeah, it is. Yeah, it, it is? Yeah, it is. I get a pass? You get a pass. Yeah, look at that picture to this song. Not Horrifying. Only, not only demons. It's fucking nerdy demons, man. Mm. How we love them. Ah. Oh, is it against... Uh, what's his name? He has been a... He was a uh, tournament organizer. Back. No, uh, no. This was uh, none that I recognized. Alright. Alright. Uh, so his list is kind of hard to see because it's every everything is jammed up. But it's a it's a pestilence list. Everything that's pestilence is in there. Yeah. So characters is a father of pestilence uh, on uh, divination master. And he got uh, like some item, and he has a demon prince on pestilence with blood sword or whatever it's called. This like a gives him lethal strike and multiple wounds against like towering presence or something mm. like that. Um, he has thirty talents. Um, don't think he's it's a character in there, just very Teleman. Uh, three units of three pestilent beasts. Um, then he has. Mm, what's that in the back there, behind the Telemans? The one furthest away is a demon engine. Let's see if the next picture is good. Oh, perfect. Uh, oh, it's a unit of six rates. Or no, Furies or whatever it's called. Oh, yeah. And a demon engine. And the demon engine, he can choose his firing weapon. Mm. He has the catapult. Nice. Um, that's it. So, uh, deployment type was uh, diagonal. And objective was capture the flags. That's all I'm gonna say before we do David's prediction. And like mm. new rules for the prediction is so far David was four points off, two points off, two points off. So it's eight he's eight points off. And we set his goal is to be maximum ten points off. Or do you think I can give you twelve points off if you want to? Ten seems I don't hard. take your poor share it, man. Okay, it can only be 10 points off, man. Yeah. So, All right. what's your professional exactly. no so non-ETC opinion? So, I don't lose in this mini tournament that I am. I need to know what's the scoring units you choose for the capture flag. Oh, no. It, uh, the capture flag doesn't work like that anymore. It's like, if you have less than three scoring units. Okay. Let's say I face you and you only have one. 
then I can choose two of your scor scoring units so you have three. Uh, if you have three or more, you don't choose anyone. Oh. And you just, the objective says, mark all scoring units, mm. and the one with uh, the few, like uh, the opponent that has killed most of the the other one's scoring unit wins. All right, how many scoring units does he have? Yeah, the Taliban and... The Taliban and all the pestilent beasts. Oh, they're scoring? They are. Oh. For me, it's uh, Flame Water and Spearman, Archers and uh, Queen's Cup. Nice. All right, I have to... <coughs> Seriously, this list should... No, you don't have white lines. You have some chariots. God damn it. Hmm. He's thinking, man. Can you hear, hear how hard he's thinking? I don't want to lose. I'm gonna give you a nine. 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 Oh man. All right. No, no, no. You sound. You sounded too smug for a nine. Like <laughs> you knew I was wrong. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Ready to go? <laughs> <laughs> Fuck, I don't know, man. No, I'm gonna give you an eight, you smug hey. bastard. <laughs> you don't deserve more. <laughs> man, why are you disrespecting <laughs> like that, man? <laughs> give you an eight. Okay, you give me an eight. Yep. Okay, I'm gonna give you a minor spoiler. You're gonna laugh at this game. I got more than eight. <laughs> no, you, you can't change, but I just say, I'm not just saying you're gonna. I don't know if the audience is gonna laugh, but you are gonna laugh at this game. <laughs> I know. <laughs> that I know. It was one of a kind. <laughs> Did I give you too much? <laughs> <laughs> okay, I give you one final chance no, 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 to no, change if no. you wish. Uh, we can change. Th no, that was not a, like a spoiler. This is didn't help you much. If you want to. But you might be right right now. Yeah, I might be. But I'm not. So I'm gonna stick with eight. You're sticking with eight? Yeah, I'm sticking with eight. Lucky number eight. Yeah, exactly, exactly. <laughs> all right. So, for all of you in the audience listening, you can, that knows your shit, you can see right now how wrong David is. Can't you? You're all just laughing. Wow. I'm, just, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Basically, okay, I'm just going to tell you how deployment went, and then you're going to... Or maybe you, know, you never know. This could have gone either. Uh, it could have been a lot different if it weren't for one thing. But the way deployment went, um, I picked sides, mm. and he shows that I deploy first. So I drop a unit of reavers. Okay. He drops his uh, shaft. I want to say. Uh, I drop a bolt thrower. He drops his pestilent uni unit uh, to the right. And here, do you see that unit? Which unit? He dropped the pestilent unit to the right. Oh, okay, okay, okay. And here I see my opening because uh, it's captured a flag. Those are scoring. So if I just take, kill that unit. Uh, I win decently. Uh, I get it because if I kill that unit, it's, it's worth 365. Mm. That's enough for an, an 11 9. Yeah. And I get objective, so that's a 14 6. If I only kill that and don't take any other losses. Alright. So as soon as he dropped that one, it's in no cover or nothing. I drop my entire army so they will be able to. Uh, they, everything that shoots will be able to target that unit. And when he counter deploys, he basically the game is decided here because what I think he 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 needed to do before he dropped that unit is either decide am I gonna push and then I'm gonna push hard mm -hmm. or am I gonna hang back? If I'm gonna hang back, I don't deploy that pestilent unit in range. No. I deploy everything out of range. Yeah, exactly. Or everything at the mark and push. Yeah. Uh, but he dropped that unit, and then 
everything else like he's not gonna push like he's gonna he wanna play safe uh, like uh, probably like oh, you know, I've had some bad luck I need to play safe but obviously it's gone pretty good for him because he has 38 points like me yeah, yeah. he should have but he did that so I dropped everything trying to target them uh, it looks like so and I target all my shooting on the pestilent beast and I do four let's see I did I want to say he had four. I did five wounds to the unit, so he has four wounds left. Uh, and remember, Pestilent Beast doesn't have a, like command group, so yeah. he, he can't uh, he can't go very like very far. So what he does is he uh, marches the unit in here to at least get it soft cover, and the rest of the army basically here is like. Fuck! I'm not gonna push. Then I should have deployed more, more uh, to the front. Or I'm gonna play safe. Like I could push and try to, try to uh, win, but I'm gonna take some losses going in. And he backs up with the rest of his army. Like, uh, he, like he backs up with his tallyman. He backs off with his pestilence beast. Just backs up. And um, marches in there. And shoots here kill uh, two queen's guard basically my my magic since i'm he's so far away i'm not in range for anything mm. uh, so my magic i'm just trying to conserve like i know okay he's he he's probably gonna aim his catapult at the queen's guard yeah. because they do most damage to the pestilent beasts yeah uh so i'm i'm giving th i'm trying to cast plus one toughness on queen's guard and hereditary that's what I'm casting. So at the moment, I think I have plus one toughness up, and he only kills two queen's guard with his catapult. All right. Also, my first turn, I fail to cast. Uh, I I try to bubble flaming sword, but I fail. Ah. Uh, I I use I five dice it. Uh, because I like, even if my mage dies, it's, I think it's worth it, uh, and it's really low chance. My turn two, I get flaming sword off. Ah, there we go. And I kill the pestilent beast. Mm. So I know I'm not saying it out loud because I don't know if he knows it. Because if he knows it, he might push. Mm. And if he push, I think I can handle it. But it's more risk than yeah, if he doesn't dicey, push. Dicey, yeah, dicey. Because right now I have a fourteen six. I'm happy. So the only thing I do, like the rest of my army stays put. My princes move up to zone even more. So if he goes up with something I like if I want to back up I can back up 8 inches yeah so it's no risk and his turn 2 he uh, keeps shooting and keeps backing up like so and this is yeah this is his turn 2 like yeah everything's playing safe he's just measuring for his catapult this is my turn three. So, like, since he he didn't back uh, move forward, I'm pushing up a little bit. But like, is it more to like give him the impression that you are coming for him, even though you're not? Yeah, like, I'm perfectly fine not committing. Yeah. But I just want to be like because at the moment, if he marches up with everything, I'm still without uh, out of range. Like, now I move up. So basically. If he goes up with one thing a little bit, la la la, so then I wanna be able to jump on it. If he doesn't, I'm fine. I might even back up if he starts going up. Yeah. But but he can, for me, like he can't think I'm trying to get him. Uh, All right, because I was thinking like, what would I do in your in your case in that in exactly exactly the same scenario? I would probably advance a little bit just to give him the impression that like I'm coming for you to back off even more if you don't want this close combat even though me myself would never want to get in close combat since I can lose yeah, that, that's basically my tactic and I'm making sure you see how tight everything is yeah. everything that he can see is within leadership bubble is within general bubble uh, so like I'm just nothing is gonna panic uh, rivers are behind the hill hiding mm. so I'm not going up to try shaft 
and I'm just keep, keep buffing the sisters because he's targeting the sisters. Uh, move up a little bit. His turn, he still doesn't push. Oh. Uh, yeah, he's turn three. So basically, by now I know when he doesn't push turn three, he has four, five, six. I know now if he starts pushing, you can back off. Yeah, he won't be able to to get to me. Uh, so basically, if he starts pushing, I need to decide: am I gonna try for a bigger win, or am I back uh, backing off and taking the fourteen? So my oh, you see my army. Yeah. Everything turned. Everything moved back. <laughs> <laughs> like so. <laughs> my my chariot, yes, stay at this direction, but like, yeah. It was hilarious, man. We were we, just, we were laughing. I was like, man, you're not going to push. He's like, man, I don't want to push, man. <laughs> man, you're going to kill too much going in. I don't know. Those, those fucking sherrits, man. If those sherrits weren't there, I was going to push so hard. <laughs> <laughs> but it's too late for you to push now. So Yeah, so the, the sherrits are sounding good. And he's just like, okay, I'm not going to kill the sisters. So let me try the archers and you know he shoots at the archers and, I, and I'm like okay shoot the archers and you know I'm I'm like casting my oaken throne like region here like get the guy back there and toughness there and you know he, even my bolt throwers start moving because he, he was starting to try and shoot my bolt throwers oh hell no I was like no like if you kill a bolt thrower then it's a 13-7 instead of a 14-6 mm -hmm. you're not killing a bolt throwers <laughs> so I like started re region wounds on both throwers and you know the wounded one jumped down the hill and was like man just give me something <laughs> 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 and he stays there you know so like i don't think there's many pictures more than this like we back up the game uh, ends <laughs> 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 but well fought i swear to god from uh, you know from uh, we co we come to the table the game starts at nine uh, you know, maybe 15 minutes, just go over the list, go over scenario, and do like deployment. So, 9.15, we start the game. 10.15, we're done. <laughs> I believe uh, you. We just called it, I was like, nice, now I can go around, watch some other games, take it easy, I got the 14, feeling good. Ah, long lunch also. That so feeling might be the best. Yeah, so hope you enjoyed the shortest game in my history. Um, I'm out of the tournament, by the way. Yeah, yeah, you're not in the tournament. Yeah. I know. No, I don't, I don't need a tournament. I need a game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I yeah, lost yeah. big time. Yeah, wha what's your... You said eight? Yeah. Six points off, so you're 14 points off now. Yep. All right, uh, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Last game coming up.